hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, today as you can see i am here with a crochet hook and the ball of yarn so we are going to learn a new stitch which we call it as a bead stitch so we are going to see where it is used and how it is done so let's start so we are going to make a slip knot and pull the yarn make it tight and then for the stitches to appear very clearly we first need to make small border and then we will start the pattern and for the border we need a foundation chain so we are going to make a foundation chain of multiple of 2 plus 1 so I am making 20 plus 1 so that uh, the pattern is clear so 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 plus 1. So this is how ready with the foundation chain. Now we are going to make the uh, first row and for the first row we will make the double crochet so double crochet we are going to make uh, in the first row and for that first three chain stitches we are going to consider them as first double crochet and we are going to start making double crochet from fourth chain onwards so insert the hook in the fourth chain yarn over pull it out and then yarn over pull out of the two loops yarn over pull it out of the two loops so this is the second double crochet and uh, likewise we are going to make it till the end so double crochet one two So this bead stitch uh, which we are going to make now it's basically used for the beanies um, for uh, especially for winter season if you are making it with wool so this stitch pattern is very very helpful because this will give a cushiony uh, feel or look to the fabric making it have more air spaces so that um, it will keep you warm when you are using the beanies or scarves or shawls so this is the first row which is done double crochet all along and then I make again one two three chain stitches turn the work and then again make double crochet all along till the last stitch because this is the reverse side back side so we can't start the pattern at the back side so we are going to start it on the uh, front side okay the right side up so we are going to complete this now so here we are with the second row ready so we are done with the second row also now we make three chain stitches two three turn the work and then we are making the pattern now so let's see how it is made so yarn over make the DC into the second stitch make a DC into the second stitch or double crochet we call it so double crochet now we are going to take the yarn over four times first uh, I mean first we are going to take the yarn over insert the hook in between these two uh, stitches that you have made 
double crochet and the three chain stitches that we have so in between that there is a space can you see this the, this is the space so here we are going to work the stitch and for that we take yarn over insert the hook and then yarn over pull it out of this space so this is how we get and then again now here you have three loops on your hook again yarn over insert the hook in the space yarn over pull it out of this through this space now you have five loops on your hook yarn over this is sixth uh, loop then insert the hook yarn over pull it out of the space now you have seven loops on your crochet hook yarn over this is the eight eighth uh, loop and then insert the hook in between the space then yarn over pull it out and this will be the last loop that you will be having on the crochet hook which uh, in total you will have nine loops on your crochet hook after taking the yarn over four times so we are going to for make this four times so yarn over now and pull it out of all these nine loops right now we are not going to close it we are not going to close it by taking the yarn over but instead we are going to leave one stitch here and go to the next stitch leave a stitch go to the next stitch and make a chain stitch here so we are not going to use this loop now so we will just be using making the chain stitch one chain stitch two and now we are going to take the yarn over and pull it through these two loops now this is the structure which gets formed and that is the bead stitch we call it as a bead stitch so we are going to make few more so that it is more clear to you so let's see again make one double crochet right immediately after the chain stitches that we have made next to the chain stitches we will be making use of this stitch to make a double crochet so make a double crochet again we repeat the same uh, pattern now yarn over insert the hook in between the space between the double crochet and the cha three chain structure and then pull out the yarn through one yarn over insert the hook between these two the space here so two this is done twice then yarn over insert the hook between the two space and then yarn over pull it out three times done and then yarn over and then pull it out so four times it is done all through we will so yarn over and pull out the yarn through nine uh, loops then we make leave a chain uh, stitch here and then go to the next stitch and make a chain stitch one two and next one is through the two loops so this is the bead stitch again make we will make another bead stitch so yarn over make a double crochet into the next stitch yarn over and insert the hook between the between the this space here yarn over pull it out then yarn over insert the hook between the space again pull it out two times done three time third time yarn over insert the hook pull it out then yarn over insert the hook between the space pull it out and then this is the fourth time that we did and now we are going to 
yarn take the yarn over and slip out through all the nine loops then leave a chain or the stitch here and then go to the next stitch insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over make a chain stitch one another chain stitch two and the last chain stitch will form when we are going to make use of these two loops so yarn over and pull it through these two loops so there are three chains now you can see and uh, so this is how the bead stitch is formed again make another double crochet yarn over insert the hook between the space that means you are you are actually making this structure basically on the double crochet so this structure gets formed on the double crochet because as you can see you can't see the double crochet here isn't it so it actually forms around the double crochet so this is the first one then yarn over insert remove uh, pull out the yarn again third time yarn over insert the hook in between in the space pull it out uh, through the space then fourth time yarn over insert the hook between the space and then pull it out and then finally yarn over and pull it out of all the nine loops on the hook now again leave a stitch here go to the next stitch and then make a chain stitch don't make it very tight one two and then the third one we are going to use these two loops so remove it so this is how the double uh, crochet with the help of double crochet and the loops we get this bead pattern so one more we will make so we are going to make a double crochet now double crochet yarn over four times we have to do the same thing so one two three and then the last time four times yarn over pull it out of the nine loops that you have on the crochet hook and then now uh, we are not going to take any yarn over don't forget leave a stitch here and then go to the next stitch to make the chain stitches one two and the last one will be by using the two loops so this is done and then finally we will be making one more double crochet here instead of because we, we don't have any space right so we are going to make there a double crochet so just try to um, see that the tension is maintained tension of the thread uh, with which you are working is maintained throughout the same so that you get the pattern in a nice and uh, uh, neat way so this is how this bead stitch forms and you can continue uh, to do so uh, even after this uh, as long as you want and after this we will make you can actually alternate with two double crochet rows and then make this or you can simply alternate with a single crochet and keep making the bead stitches right so so that's it and uh, i hope that you have follow you could follow it uh, and uh, it was easy for you to understand and uh, please do like share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon so you can get the notifications and please do share as much as possible so for now bye bye everyone take care and see you again for the next tutorial bye bye